to my kitchen, y'all. Thanksgiving coming. We still in this kitchen. It's Thanksgiving Eve. And you guys, we're kind of bringing it in. Bringing it in. Um, Fred's still hanging out there in the garage by himself in the refrigerator. And I think we're going to put the turkey on, put him on sometime in a little bit tonight. Okay? And see how that turns out. But for right now, we're getting ready to do sweet potato crunch. And it's, you know, rather than doing the traditional yams, I started doing sweet potato crunch years and years ago, and my children love it. Um, my dude, number one, loves it. My dude, she's sitting over there, say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. My dude, she loves sweet potato crunch. You can do it with or without pecans. Um, they really prefer without pecans. I think my husband, dude, number one, likes the pecans, but he can always just throw some on there. So you can do it with pecans. We're not going to do that today. Of course, we need sweet potatoes. These are the sweet potatoes that I roasted. And I roasted them yesterday, so I think I'm just going to peel them and try to warm them up again in this little saucepan. Try to kind of get them warm a little bit because if I do that, I can really more so tell my flavors or tell the seasoning level of the sweet potatoes I think if I warm it a little bit. I pretty much season my sweet potato crunch like I do my sweet potato pies minus the milk. I don't do any milk because again it's sort of like on the yams side and you don't put at least I don't put milk in my yams so I'm not going to put any milk in my sweet potato crunch and while I'm standing here running my mouth let me go on and start getting the yams in this saucepan and so we're gonna need we're gonna need the sweet potatoes we need butter I'm gonna use at least four um, in the pot I'm gonna use not quite half a stick right now to mix it up and then I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use four eggs, I think. Four to six, maybe. We'll see. I need, of course, my nutmeg. I have my nutmeg here. And I have my vanilla, pure vanilla flavoring. We have a little bit of salt. and showed you the butter and then for the topping I will need some regular granulated sugar and then we'll need all-purpose flour and we're going to need some butter with that to kind of mix together to put on the top and we also need some brown sugar Now I have some dark brown sugar and I have some regular brown sugar some of this I need to use, so I'm going to be throwing probably some of both of those in there, okay? So what I'm going to start by doing now, I just turned on this saucepan, and I just want to get my potatoes, you know, kind of heated up again since they are cold, like all night, all day cold. And also, like with my sweet potato, unlike with my sweet potato pies, I don't mix this in the mixer now by all means you can if you want to do your sweet potato crunch or casserole and mix it up in your mixer you can do that but I'm not again I like mine to be more on the style of yam so it's not like I'm trying to get my mixture smooth and get my uh, you know, sweet potatoes, get all the strings and stuff out of it like I did for my sweet potato pie. No, we're not doing that with the sweet potato crunch, okay? So I'm just going to get these in here and then we're going to start adding um, all of our ingredients. And you guys, these potatoes are just sliding right out of these um, the little sweet potato jackets.
Y'all, these roasted sweet potatoes look so good, but I don't eat sweet potatoes like this. I wish I did, but I don't. And I'm trying to use all of these sweet potatoes. I had some sweet potatoes that were a little older-ish. Well, they had been here for a minute, and I felt like I needed to go use those. Turn that TV down a little bit, babe. I needed to use those up. That's why I just threw them all in here. Okay, we're trying to get this butter all melted. To grab my phone, it just went off. And see what that is. So we'll just have to grab the phone. See it right there. And yeah, it's gonna keep going off until we grab one. Until I check it. Oh, I asked him if he wanted tea or lemonade. What'd he say? Lemonade is good. Lemonade. Cool beans. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of my sea salt in here. gonna add the rest of this butter. I can't help it y'all. I can't help it. It doesn't call for this much butter but I wanted more butter. Start with a half a teaspoon of, because I'm making more than what the recipe calls for, so, but I will put the exact recipe in the description box below. So that was my nutmeg, that was not a teaspoon. Add some sugar. of that sugar and we're gonna add this brown sugar a couple of tablespoons of vanilla That's enough sugar. 
use a group chat. No, need to add a little bit more sugar. Let me put some of this brown sugar in here. I didn't do it. But if you don't, it's going to keep going off. Oh, you don't yeah. 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 I just want you to check it out. Right, I'm just trying to get get it seasoned before I add my eggs. And you guys right in the middle of cooking. I think I done changed my mind. I think I do want to add a little milk to this. Mm -hmm. That's what you do when you cook, honey. I told you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box, though, y'all. Don't worry. Have no fear. That's some good cooking right there when you improvise. You well, I'm not improvising. I'm just doing what I feel like I want to do. Exactly. That's some good cooking. So. Mm. So we feel like we want to do. So that's what we're doing. You can do it with or without the milk. Let me see if I can taste my nutmeg. Not enough. Not enough. Okay, so we're gonna add the eggs to the mixture. And I'm just going to do four. It doesn't have to be real firm. You know, we like it a little loose anyway. So, four eggs should certainly suffice. Y'all, it's been quiet. He come do number one. <laughs> Mouth for the south. <laughs> North, east, and west. Father. If y'all notice, we've had a quiet day today. That's hey, not... everybody. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How everybody doing? What you making, baby? <laughs> he home, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's been quiet today. You ain't been here. been quiet, Donna. It was quiet before I got here to you, Donna. <laughs> It's been quiet all day. I got I got a bunch of meal. Okay, so I have mixed my eggs in, and now I'm gonna start working on my topping. I'm doing sweet potato crunch, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you want the pecans on yours? Yes. I know you do. Well, yes. you just have to add some because I don't think thank everybody you, else eats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eat the. Um, thank you for just allowing me to eat. Y'all, he is doing the most. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? How's your day been? Good. Even better now that I'm off. Oh, my goodness. You're off, you're off, you're off twins. Okay, so for this topping, 
I'm going to do like a cup of brown sugar, a cup of flour, and I'm going to do like a stick of butter. So I may use a little bit more than a cup of flour. I told you I'm going to put the recipe. I'm going to put the real recipe that I'm supposed to be doing in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to take my butter. all-purpose flour Just for a few seconds because I need that butter a little softer so I can so we can do what I needed to do. Let's see. Okay. I think that's a little bit better. get this all mixed up because this is going to be my topping for my sweet potato crunch and it needs to be kind of crumbly on the top and then that butter is going to melt that brown sugar mm. so this is what it's looking like right now then I'll just have to kind of keep getting it mixed up until I get it a little finer and I can just sprinkle it over the top. Now I am making us all little individual um, servings of the sweet potato crunch. So I'm just going to use these and then that way that's one less thing I have to try to pack into something else. So I'm going to start by just spraying my little pan. Y'all know since dude number one came in, he wants some pecans on his, so. We're just going to add some pecans to the top of it. Let me bring you guys down here with me so you can see what we're getting ready to do. And we're just going to fill them. And also... I put my I put my little crunchy topping in the refrigerator for a few minutes to help it help that butter kind of stiffen back up a little bit and that makes it more crumbly for me and easier to crumble over the top of it. Okay, so we're just gonna 
add some to each one of these. And again, I don't worry about this being uh, smooth at all. Because when you eat yams, the yams be in like the little thick slices. When I do the yams, they're, they're like in the thick slices or like the little hunks, if you will. So, that's not smooth. So, it's okay. But like I said, you could definitely put it in the mixer if you wanted to. You probably need this one, don't have a whole, whole lot in it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That'll work. It's going to be just me eating it. And we're just going to smooth it a little bit. Or get it level, I should say. Guys, I really don't care to eat this. I do not. I'm going to put some, I don't want one with a lot in it either, for him. He ain't going to eat it though. Put some pecans in the batter. And then we're going to sprinkle the topping over it. If I don't use all of this topping, I can always put it in a refrigerator and use it later. And I know I'm not going to use all of this. I usually like to fix a little extra of it though, just to make sure I have enough. Do number one. 
All right, and we're going to get these in the oven at 350 degrees, and they're going to stay in for about 40 minutes. in these little individual containers is one less thing I have to transfer to another container. Sweet potato crunch. Well you guys this is something that you can do if you don't want to do yams. If you don't want to do candied yams, you can do you some sweet potato crunch. And this is the one with the pecans on top and then inside. So, you guys, we're bringing it in. I think we have one more. The grand finale of this Thanksgiving series 2020. We got a cool friend, y'all, that's been out there in the brine by himself. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Push the nosy. That's the notification bell. Subscribe. All of that good stuff. Wait a minute. I'm crooked. Why you ain't tell me y'all was crooked? Okay. That's, that's better. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye!